Hi everyone! So I thought I'd try something a bit different with this video today and that is combining a cage tour and a haul video because I've just gone out to Jolly's and Pets at Home and bought a load of stuff and I thought I'd kind of do a before and after tour and hopefully along the way give you some ideas of how you can spruce up your own cages and make them a bit more exciting for your own piggies. So this is the cage now, this is the before. <laughs> I have just cleaned it out and it's got the usual kind of basic stuff in it. Over there in that corner we've got the hay, the litter trays that I always have, a hay rack and then and the rest of it they've got three different sorts of hideys. As you can see I've taken these front grids off and that just makes it easier for filming really. Their upstairs is just a hay room at the moment and they've got that tunnel up there. So it's kind of okay, it's you know got nice bright colours with the fleece and everything they've got some different sorts of hideys to go in and explore and they've got the hay obviously um, but it could be better and how can we make it better? Well hopefully some of the new stuff that I've bought will improve it. So onto the haul. My initial aim was to go to Pets at Home and get a water bottle or a couple of water bottles because for a long time their plastic water bottles have been really getting on my nerves they've been leaking all over the place, making the cage wet, making all the liner damp and everything um, so I really needed to go and get some glass water bottles which I hope um, based on people's reviews what people have said will be a lot better and not leak so much so that was what I went to Pets at Home for <laughs> and this is what I came home with <laughs> quite a lot of stuff some um, basic stuff that I needed anyway, like the pellets. But we'll go through everything and I'll tell you what I got. I'll start over here and picked up some Keep It Clean. This is my favourite brand. I really like the smells. Some of them can stink, but this is quite nice. And of course it's antibacterial and antifungal and all that, which is really great. Then we've got the Timothy Hay here, the Alfalfa King. Even though it's, it's not Alfalfa, it's Timothy. And this I kind of saw in Pets at Home, I know they've really loved it before um, and I got them that as a treat really. Then down here we have one of the Bulrush Balls by the Woodlands range. I've seen these in quite a lot of people's cages. This kind of um, material, this Bulrush, I don't know if, whether it is that or whether it's just called that. My piggies will actually chew this stuff so I thought it'd be good for them. Then we've got uh, another litter tray, it was their value one, I think it was about £2.50 um, and that's just uh, another one for a spare and also if I want to put a litter tray on the, in the upstairs section. Then moving on I got a big packet of the Burgess XL guinea pig nuggets and that's just because they were on offer and they do get through them fairly quickly. Then uh, I got the, the one thing which I actually went for, <laughs> which is this Living World Eco water bottle. Well, I'm quite excited to try this out. It's fairly heavy, it is glass, and it's got the little carrot in it so you can see where the water is that'll float up to the top. And then it's got this quite a nice attachment here and a little groove in the water bottle so it'll stay in one place. So I'm hoping that's gonna be a massive improvement Next up we have this hay roll. I've gotten them kind of the similar hay tunnel type things before and they've just really enjoyed it. They like nibbling everything off. This one is a bit different. I think it's like half and half. I'm not sure what the uh, two different halves are but I'm sure it's something that the guinea pigs will enjoy. Then here we have a, a green version of the Living World Large Dome and I've got the blue one but I thought they'd stopped making them because I only saw the castle type ones with the battlement things on top and um, I, I hadn't seen these uh, kind of more sleek looking ones for ages so when I saw this I thought oh I'll just I'll just get it because I might not see them again and uh, the other one is getting a bit old. The final item which I'm probably most excited about is this small animal home from Pets at Home and um, it's quite big. <laughs> That's probably why I'm excited about it. So it's going to be a, quite a substantial addition to their cage when I put it in. But it doesn't have a bottom of course. I don't know if anyone else has noticed but in Pets at Home they've got 
quite a lot of the houses and huts that are made out of the same kind of bulrush type material and they've all got bottoms on and it's really annoying because they're not going to last any time at all um, aside from them getting eaten they're just going to get really messy I wouldn't recommend getting uh, those type houses from Pets at Home or wherever you do your shopping for your guinea pigs and we'll assemble it and see what it looks like that was super easy, it took me about 30 seconds to assemble and it came with this handy little step-by-step -step instruction sheet as well. Not like you really needed it, it was really straightforward, the sides just slot in, as you can see on the picture like that. And then you just put the roof up and it slots into place and once you've done that um, it's really sturdy, the walls aren't wobbly at all anymore once you've done that. And it's also good because you've got... Um, this side has a little window on it and so does this one but it's so easy to assemble and take apart as well you can quite easily um, make it so that window is on the other side if you wanted to put it somewhere different in the cage for example and also because there's no glue or anything involved once you um, have put it in the cage for a week or so you want to store it for a while it will just store flat um, and doesn't take up hardly any space at all which actually is so handy if you don't have much storage space if, if you're like me and you don't have tons of room for your piggy stuff that will come in massively handy so now we've had a look at everything I've bought I'm going to have a go at improving the piggy's cage and then I'll show you it afterwards so we'll just take a quick look at the before again there they've got the igloo their fiddle sticks, litter trays, one of their cosy items, upstairs, not much going on up there, just some hay in a tunnel. So that is before and stay tuned for after. So there we go, I've had a little play around with things and this is the result. This is the after tour <laughs> and I'll just talk through what I've uh, included, the new things and some of the things that I had already. And I hope you'll agree that it looks a lot more like there's a lot more going on. They've got more places to explore. There's more stuff happening in the upstairs bit which has attracted a guinea pig already. <laughs> and um, it's also easier to clean than it was in terms of I've got lots of pads down which I'll change out before changing the whole fleece out. So we'll start over here in the downstairs section and the litter tray area is pretty much the same. I have added some of their favourite Timothy hay and that is what they are munching on now. Apart from that, I've also added in this, which is one of the naturals dangly things that you can get from pets at home. Um, and I like that just because it adds a bit of a natural touch. And then at this side, we've also got another dangly thing hanging down. And this is one of the wooden block style type things from uh, Hop Nibble Squeak. And uh, this was actually from Carrie's Little Piggies. So thank you so much for getting me this. Uh, I don't know if I, it's actually featured in many of my videos, but I do use it a lot. And you can kind of see there on the bottom of the heart, of the, heart the piggies have been chewing on it a little bit, which is impressive because they're not the biggest chewies. Chewies? <laughs> Chewers. Um, <laughs> so I really love it, it's really sweet. If you arrange the blocks correctly, on this side you've got Annie, then you've got Sprite and then turning it around again it says Lola so that's really sweet it's got all three of their names on it and absolutely love it so thank you Carrie's Little Piggies um, she sent me a really nice package it had a bunch of stuff in it lots of chocolate so thank you so much for that package I think it was back in February wasn't it so I owe you one wink wink <laughs> And then moving on, we have one of the pads here. The pads are great, they're just kind of, um, as well as making it easier to clean, they break up the colours of the fleece a bit and add a bit more variety in. I really like my cage to always look fun with loads of different colours in. So the pads kind of help a lot with that, um, adding different colours and different areas. We've still got their hoodie hook cosy item here, which they absolutely love. And then, Coming around here we've got um, their new bulrush ball and they've also got one of their other chews. But they're kind of nice accessories just to kind of dot around the cage and make it look a bit more fun. 
Then I have moved this Heidi, which was previously over uh, against the back wall there, into the middle here. And that's just to kind of open it up a bit really. Um, there's somewhere they can come in and out from either end of it. It's still a place for them to go and lie down in, but it's also a kind of tunnel for them. And also if you've got young piggies, something like this I think they'll really like because they love doing laps of their cage and going through different tunnels and stuff. And this kind of acts as a big fun tunnel for them to use. <laughs> Over there at the back they've got a smaller version of the fiddle sticks, which is the ramp um, going up to the litter tray. They don't necessarily use it as a ramp, but I put it there to kind of add a more natural touch and also it stops them from peeing in that corner which is really annoying. Even if I put pads they just go there all the time so that's to kind of deter them from doing that. <laughs> Moving round, oh I think Annie's seen the nice big house. We have one of their tunnels just added in that. It goes with the um, hay bag over there and also their hooded cosy. So it's nice to have things that complement each other. Then we have the brand spanking new glass bottle which I filled up with water and then discovered I couldn't actually attach it to the cage properly because um, my coroplast must be coming up too high so I couldn't actually attach this part round in the ridge bit where it's meant to go but I put it on anyway. It's got that attachment and also a bit that goes around the bottom and up onto the cage there with two hooks so it's really secure, especially when the I've got the other cage panels on, like Annie. <laughs> It'll be um, really secure and won't move much for them. So I'm still really pleased with that. And then over there in that corner, you'll see the hay bag. And hay bags are a really good thing to kind of put up. It gives the piggies somewhere else in the cage that they can have a snack. And oh, I missed it just out of shot. Annie was doing a yawn. <laughs> Um, so another place that they can chill out and have a munch on some hay and it also um, adds some more uh, pattern colour to the sides of the cage which might not, not necessarily see that much going on so I think hay bags are a good way to make the cage more fun and exciting as well. And then we have the giant pets at home house which looks amazing, I absolutely love it. Um, you can see I've decked it out with pads inside there because they probably will use it as a bit of a toilet. Um, I'm surprised actually no one's gone over to investigate it. I wonder if I can usher Annie away from her sleeping place. Sorry Annie. No, go on, go and have a look at it. That That's the wrong direction. No, don't go in the tunnel. <laughs> I'll use the tunnel too. Oh, there we go. Yay, she's in! And we can see her through the little heart window. That's really sweet. Are you going to look out the window, Annie? <laughs> Moving upstairs, I've kind of jazzed it up here a bit, not too much. I've put in their new bright green Heidi, um, plastic Heidi dome hut, whatever you want to call it, which I think is just really fun. It's stuffed full of hay in there. That's a really nice place for them to go and chill out. And then I've also put the nice new hay tunnel in here instead of the old one that was there before. Um, and I'm sure they'll absolutely love that as well. So one last little look before I say goodbye. I hope you'll agree that it is a lot more going on. There's a lot more places for them to go and chill out, to go and munch under the hay rack, to go and hide in. Um, and I hope you've picked up some tips as well for things to do to kind of make your own cage a bit more exciting. So that's everything from me for today. Thank you for watching again. I hope you enjoyed the video and please leave a comment, rate if you thought the video was good and subscribe if you want to see more of my video. We're just going to zoom in on Lola before I say goodbye. <laughs> oh, she's a very relaxed looking piggy. And then all we can see of Annie, oh, focus, is a bit of fluff in the window. Mmm, mysterious. <laughs> so I will leave you with that shot. And again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.